Okay. So last week we did the C major three, all right? Arnav, can you turn on your camera? And uh, uh, that'd be great. Hello? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so both of you are here. That's great. So, um, yeah, last week we did the C major scale, right? With yeah, yeah. different patterns. Did you guys get a chance to work on that? Yeah. Okay. So, um, can I hear, hear both of you guys do the C major scale with an MI pattern, please? Okay. Should I go first? Yeah, you can go first. Okay. Okay. Uh, can I hear it descending as well? I only hear it descending. Uh, I, I thought I played it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, uh, for some reason, I wasn't able to hear the descending part. So, can you okay, play? Should I play it all again? Uh, then. Should I play it all again? Yeah. Am I fingering pattern, please? <laughs> Wait, sorry. Yeah, that's correct. So that's great. Um, Arnav. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, can I, uh, Arnav? I'll, I'll talk to you. Uh, I'll, I'll first do uh, Arnav. That's on Ashman's screen, not. Uh, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, is that fine? Yeah. So can I hear you play it with an I am finger pattern this time? I am is index then middle, right? Yes, that's correct. Wait. <laughs> Let's share descending now as well. I think I think in one I think in a couple of notes you went a little bit off. Uh, your right hand fingering was good, but again in a couple of instances uh, you played double eyes and double hands. Okay, so uh, work on that and try to uh, eliminate that. Okay, so now let's hear Arnav. Uh, so let's hear you play the C major scale in with an I am fingering pattern. Okay. Actually, I can, but uh, can you once tell me the notes again of C major? Okay. Um, we um, we did this last week, right, Arnav? So what I want you to do is, um, if you want to work on the C major scale this week, we have recorded and posted all of our videos uh, on YouTube, right, for the C major scale. So you can refer to that for next week. So you can work on that through that. Because I want to start off with something new this week, okay? Uh, but I can play with the I am pattern. Yeah, you can play with the I am pattern, right? But you said you had some questions for the notes. Uh, so uh, you can just go with that and then we can check up on you next week. Okay, is that fine? Okay. Yeah. So today we're going to play a piece called Prelude in G major. So uh, we're going to first start, uh, start our, uh, ourselves by working 
uh, with this fingering pattern. So we're gonna play the third string open with our thumb finger. Then, um, both of you guys. So, yeah, that's great. Um, now take the index finger and play the open second string. So, so we're gonna play the open third string, index finger, second string open. And then we're gonna go to the third fret of the first string and play that with the middle finger. And then uh, go back to the second string and play that open. And go, uh, and then go back to the first string and to the second string. So it should sound like this. And in your left hand, all you have to do is just play the third fret on the first string, okay? So let's, uh, so it should sound like this. Um, unmute yourself and tell me if you can uh, play it. Uh, I can, uh, yeah. Thanks. Can we practice it a little bit? Yeah, sure, take your time. Do you guys have any questions about what we did right now? Do you want me to repeat it? Yeah. Yeah, can you repeat it? Okay. So, third string open. First, uh, a second string open. Second string open. Can you turn up your mic? Because I don't want to get, get background noise. So third string open, second string open, third, uh, first string, third fret, then second string open, third string, first fret, uh, th third fret, first string, and then back to second string open. So it sounds like this. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of time to work on it. And once you're done, just unmute yourself so we can listen to you. Um, I'm done. You're done? Still one. Uh, okay, okay, uh, oh wait, uh, Arnav wants to hear it one more time, okay? So I'm just gonna go over it. Third, okay. third string open, uh, third string open, second string open, uh, third fret first string, Back to second string open, then third fret first string again, and back to second string open. Yeah, I got it. Okay, yeah. So, Ashman, you're ready, right? Yeah, let's hear you try. Wait. Um, yeah, that, that's correct. But it, it'd be a lot easier for you if you didn't have, if you didn't remove your third, third fret, uh, the finger that you put on your left hand, okay? You can keep okay. it there throughout because you don't end up, you don't need to play the open first strings. So if you could just keep it like this, just the entire time, it'd be a lot more easier for you. But if you find the other method easier, then go ahead with it. But I'm okay. Like this? Yeah, let's hear you. Is it like this? Yep, let's hear you try and play it and let's just watch. <laughs> um yeah, um that wasn't correct, but um one more thing is your tuning. Have you been able to fix that again this week? Yeah, I tuned it. Um, it doesn't seem to be in tune, Arnav. I, um, I mean, this is, um, uh, uh, keeping a guitar in tune is one of the most important things. So for next week, uh, just double check and make sure that you're in tune. Okay. Before starting. Yeah. But this whole thing gets recorded so you can refer to it later. So, um, yeah. So again, your pattern is wrong. You have to go like... Okay, I think the last two strings. So, okay, let, let's just see our right hand now. So, let's 
So third string, second string, first string, second string, first string, second string. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So, uh, uh, Arnav, yeah, let's listen for uh, Arnav. Can you uh, mute yourself for now? Arnav, can, uh, have you had a chance to work on it? Yeah. That's here. That's excellent. That's great. Uh, okay. So what now what we're going to do is instead of playing it with the third fret, we're going to go down to the second fret. So it'll sound so we'll start off like this. With the third fret, then go to the second fret. So yeah, um, so now after we go to the second fret, we're gonna play it open, and then back to the uh, back to the second fret. You have any questions? I didn't get you. Okay, so what we did was we played it with the third fret on the first string, right? This whole pattern. Yeah, now we're going to do the whole, same thing, except we move down to the second fret. And then after that, we do the same thing open, and then we go back to the second fret. So I'll show you how it's supposed to be played the whole first line. You guys got it? Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys some time to work on this and unmute yourself when you guys are ready. I'm done. Okay, now let's, let's hear it. Yeah. The whole thing? Yep, the whole thing. Yeah. And then we go back to the second fret, right, Ashwin? We go to okay. the third fret, second fret, open, second fret. That's correct. So uh, uh, one thing you should try to do is we should try uh, instead of uh, there's like I can hear small pauses in between you switching between the third fret and the second fret. Okay, so you want to try and work on that. Okay, when doing this. Yeah. I think I got. I think I got it. Okay, sure. Let's hear it. Working on the transitions between uh, um, all the different uh, all the different patterns. Okay, so uh, yeah, just work on those pauses. Okay, so yeah, yeah. I done. Yeah, Arnav, have you had a chance to work on this? Yeah. Let's hear you. I'm done. What? I think I'm done with this. Yeah. Uh, let's hear you now. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry. That's your third fret, yeah. Okay, um, Arnav, uh, I think everything was played correct except for the last pattern. Remember, it's third fret, second fret, open, second fret, not third fret, okay? So apart from that, it was completely fine. So um, I think with that, uh, we can move on to the second half of this thing, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the same right hand fingering, but we're gonna move to the second string. So um, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the second string and play the first fret, okay? Uh, play the first fret with this whole pattern, so it should sound like this. And then after that, we go to the third string and play the second fret over there, and so it should sound like this now. After, so the first pattern is, and this, then we do this, then back to open, then we go open, and back to both of these. So yeah, just remember this. Open and then back to this. What, what? Yeah, so I'll repeat it one more time um, if you have any questions. So um, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna play the pattern once like this just with the second string first fret. Then we're gonna combine both of these, second string first fret and the uh, second fret uh, third string. Then play everything open. And then go back to this with both of these. Got it? No. Okay, so let's uh, go in. I do. Yep, you got it? So if you've got yeah. it, start working on it. In the meantime, I'll explain it to Arnav, okay? Okay. Then, yeah, just give me a few minutes. So Arnav, so what we're going to start off by doing is, you remember that first, that pattern that we played the first line, right? Stop and... Yeah, you, un you, you understand that, right? We're going to do the exact same thing with our right hand, but with our left hand, we're going to go to the first fret on the second string and play that same thing. Okay. And and now after doing that, we're also gonna we're gonna put the uh, for the second pattern. We're gonna take the third string, play the second fret, and take the second string and play the first fret. You got that, Arnav? Yeah. And now we're gonna play everything open. And then we go back to this with the third string, second fret, second string, first fret. You got it now? So I'm going to give you guys some time to work on it. And Is it like uh, the no. No, third? Second fret on the uh, third string? No, I said uh, first fret on the second string. So go to the second string and take the first fret over there. Yeah. yeah. And then go to the yeah. third string and take yeah. the second fret there. Okay. Yeah. So first, first it's only on the second string, then, then you get the one with the third string as well. And then everything mm -hmm. will be back to the second stage. So, uh, while you work on it, can you unmute yourself for now, please? Actually, my is not sounding uh, well. Can you once listen, please? Yep, yeah, sure. See, is it not sounding uh, too uh, good? 
to really put pressure and try to arc your fingers over, okay? Instead of playing it like this, try to arc your fingers for better sound, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Good, better technique. <laughs> Yeah, just try to arc it because um, otherwise you end up muting the other strings, but that sounds a little better. So uh, in the meantime, I'm going to head over to Ashman. Um, can you mute yourself, Arna? That'd be great. Ashman, have you guys, uh, have both of you guys start, um, uh, worked on this? Yeah. Yeah, so I, can I hear you one at a time? Okay, I'll go first. Yeah. yeah, that sounds yeah. Just like I understood there's like a little bit uh you your fingers got tripped up a little bit, but apart from that that was perfectly fine. Uh Arnab, let's hear you now. Yeah. It's not sounding so good. Um, yeah, again, it's the same issue that I just discussed. Uh, you're really not, uh, your fingers are actually getting in the way of the other strings. They almost act as a muting thing. So what, uh, if you see what Ashman's done, he's arched his fingers a little bit over, right? That's how he's able to get a more cleaner sound. So instead of playing, um, instead of uh, playing like this, try to play like this. Try to arch your fingers up more, okay? Okay. Yeah, that's the other strings. No, I know. It's because your edge of the finger is touching the um, first string. Oh, it's your edge of the finger is touching the first string. That's why it's muted. Oh, my hand's spinning so much. Um, yeah, the, the usually, uh, you have an acoustic guitar as well, but, um, thing is yeah that it's normal for you to for it to start hurting a little bit over there but if you get it you'll get used to it over time and your fingers start dropping off around the tips of it okay so it almost happens the rest of your flesh so um and another thing you want to do is you don't really want to that you see like if you take your finger over here right you don't want to play the guitar with this part or do you want to play it uh, too close to, um, uh, you don't want to play it in between, but try to get it towards the tip of your finger. Because you, it's a little more... Uh, uh, so now I'm doing it. Uh, uh, Arnav, can, uh, can you pick up for a minute, please? I was trying to talk to... Uh, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry, not, not you. Uh, the other Arnav, can you give yourself for a second? Because I was trying to tell something that I... To our, uh, the other so yeah so um yeah what i was talking about is try to go to uh, when especially when planting your fingers down try to use the tip of your fingers that way you get less blisters and less uh injury from the guitar okay. yeah i did use the edge of my fingers so the marks are also there uh the marks go away in a little bit of time but that's not an issue even when i press down even now i still get marks on the it's very hard to see, but there's like, I know that marks on my fingers, but the, that just naturally. the same problem. Yeah, yeah, that's fairly normal for you to experience. So, uh, the, you shouldn't be worried about that, okay? Fingers also turn red. 
Yeah, that's normal. So, um, so uh, yeah, you have. Can you play the pattern again? To me. I know. So, um, yeah, um, I want you to see, yeah, I understand uh, that it, it kind of hurts, but that type of resist, uh, that type of your, your body gets used to it. Your fingers get used to it over time. And then, um, over time, you start to not really feel that. So don't worry. Uh, like every, uh, even I went through this when I first started learning guitar. A lot of times, my finger used to like I used to get a lot of blisters and stuff like that when playing. But that's all natural. Okay, don't worry. Um, so Arnav, let's hear you play the um, pattern. Yep, let's see. <laughs> Okay, it's, I mean, the note, the fingering and everything is correct, but the tuning just makes it sound, uh, no, it doesn't make it sound. So that's an issue that you have to work on this week. So uh, yeah. we're, try to, yeah. Fingers. Uh, yeah, you're arching your fingers. That's pretty good. That's not really seem, the muting of the strings doesn't seem to be the issue, but rather the uh, fact that your guitar is extremely out of tune. So uh, use, uh, there's an app called Guitar Tuna, which is completely free on uh, the App Store or Google Play Store. So you should try and use that. So um, you... we are currently approaching uh, six, uh, 4.30. That means our class is going to end any minute now. So uh, do you guys have any questions about what we did this week? Um, what about the... No. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, about the piece itself. The piece is going, oh, this is only the first half of it. So we're going to learn the other half next week. Okay. What about the challenge you gave us last week? Oh, oh did, you, did you guys work on it? That'd be, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I, did. I can hear uh, Ashwin, if you want to play it, that, that'd be great. Arnav can okay. play it. Oh, that's not an issue. I, I didn't know that you guys worked on it. That's great. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Uh, um, um, with the IA finger pattern, that yeah, these two a really tricky pattern that you did. That that's really good. That's really good. Um, so uh, yeah, thank you for putting in the work, the extra work for that, and I'm sure it'll pay off with those uh, finger techniques. So um, yeah, do you guys have any questions about what we did in today's lesson? No. Uh, okay. So if that's it, I think I will see you next week at the same time. Bye bye. Thank you.